As they set the field up, Reynolds and Rand on row one, Turner, Downey, row two, Hanson and Turner on row three, Palace and Mahoney, row four, white flag is in the air. Reynolds and Tyler Rand will bring the field to life as soon as they hit turn three and four, that first orange cone where they get to fire. Not sure how 88 handles traffic, but uh, we'll see how this uh, fares. He likes the high line, and he was pretty quick during the hot laps. Tyler ran in the 84, busts away from the pack, going up the back chute. Evan Reynolds in the 98, Alan Downey in the 19. Here comes Josh Hansen in the 88. That 84 looks real good. Tyler Rand finding his tack out on the outside of that groove. 84, Allen Downey, Hanson, Reynolds. Halfway flags are now in the air for Tyler Rand in the 84, Allen Downey in the 19, Josh Hanson in the 88. in the 84 has opened up a huge lead on Allen Downey now. Tyler Hansen, Jamie Turner now taking over four spot from Evan Reynolds in the 98. White flag is out. One more trip around for the 84 of Tyler Rand. Caution. Caution. Caution on the racetrack. That's the last thing 84 wanted to see, the local boy from Picton. By the looks of everything, we've got one over in the Bright Speedway car wash off turn two there. Warren Mahoney in the 25 car has taken the uh, his machine over to our Brighton Speedway car wash. So we've had cars go in there the last five nights we've raced, I think. Well, you know what? Turn two is tricky, and if you're going at the speeds they're going at, there's no doubt that I, I'm surprised that we haven't had more cars in the drink this season, including... And word from trackside is Warren is good in the car. They're just making sure there's no damage coming up for him. The Warren is okay in that car. Tyler Ram looks so good. Now they're going to be all bunched up again. And you know what? With uh, you know, not too many laps left, you just never know what's going to happen. Tyler Ram is your top racer. In second place, 19D is Alan Downey. In third spot, in the 88H is Josh Hansen. There you can see the, uh, the big wing of Warren Mahoney starting to make its exit out of the Crick area over there. There is one lap to go here in this qualifier. Seven of eight have been completed. It will be single file restart, Steve. Uh, the last time the sprints were here, we did not use the pylon. We're back to the pylon. As you see our safety crew bringing the pylon to the front straight away now. Single file restart. They cannot pass until they've passed that pylon on the front straight away now. Okay, all right way way back when they used to start here 
I remember the gentleman, was, his name was Ron, he would put the pylon down and then once all the cars passed, he'd run out and grab the pylon. Then they finally figured out, you know, if we put this long rope on this pylon, we don't have to go out there with all these maniacs driving. We we'll pull the pylon it. back in. So, I love that. There's Teresa and our 50-50 crew down front. Teresa does her best to always get us on the north side of $1,000, and I'm sure that's her goal again tonight. I think the last time we were here, Teresa, you were on the north side of $1,500. Yes, you were. Almost to the $1,600 mark. And there is one way to make sure that uh, you get into that draw is get Teresa's attention. She will work her way up through the stand. She has four different colors. It's $5 a strip. Make sure you get in on the draw. Your chance to pick up some extra cash to go home with here tonight. Well, with the amount of people that are here tonight, I can see that we actually will have that uh, goal of $1,000 or more be raised for sure. Remember, the more you buy, the more you can win. Better chances than winning the lottery. Because it's it, drawn here tonight. You buy here tonight, it's drawn here tonight. So 25 of Warren Mahoney is out of the creek now. They are taking him back to pit side just to make sure that that car is ready to go for feature racing. Once again, they'll get the white flag as they come by through here. It, they cannot pass until they've hit the orange pylon here on the front straightaway. Actually, they can't hit the pylon. They have to go between the wall and the pylon. Is the, They ah. cannot go track side of the pylon. The infield side, they must, as they go through there right now, that's where they have to go. flag it's green and white here we go it's a one lap shootout to the finish Tyler ran finding his groove on the high side one more time there goes the 77 of Tyler Paulus down into the rhubarb and that's gonna draw a caution flag one more time yeah I see 77 poking up there right now you can see his tire marks right there about halfway through the turn he just went and uh, could not bring it back in. So Tyler Paulus in the 77 looks like that he is moving on down there. So we've got another possibility of a, a lead change, but I don't know. Tyler Ram from Picton is looking pretty good tonight. Tyler's finding his grip on that outer edge of that. Uh, you can see the, the, two, the two paths there. The inside path is totally packed in tight. Outside pack has that little bit of loose stuff, still uh, tacky and clay out there. So he's finding his groove out there. And, you know, he's got one lap to finish this, and that's where he's finding his groove. He's going to stay right out there. That's Looks your, like, I was just going to say, let's hear a round of applause for number 77. Looks like Tyler Paulus is going to get fired off here. He's actually going to stay in the race so they get that car to fire up again. Track safety crew gets the car fired. There he goes under his own power, checking out the steering, making sure everything is cool. Pick up back a pack. Race director has told them they're going to come to green flag, so get her ready, boys. Get her in line. Here we come to green flag. It's green and white one more time. Tyler ran in the 84. Alan Downey in the 19. Hanson in the 88. going to look to the inside. He's got a burst of energy, but he's not got enough to get by to first. Tyler ran... Tyler Rant from Picton's going to pick up the qualifying win here. Josh Hansen looked good there, but uh, the local boy for Picton, Tyler Rab, no one was going to catch him.
Row number three, the 18 of Nathan Jackson. And outside Jackson is the 12 double D of Darren Dryden. Once again, six cars, eight laps of distance. Lawns we do. Sprint series, qualifier number two coming at you. It's green and go. Corey Turner in the 17 gets on the hop first. Here comes the 10 of downtown Mitch Brown making a bust through the field uh, coming up on the inside. Turner, Brown, Wilson, Dryden, Jones, and Jackson. A lot of smoke coming from that 11 car. Chris Jones is about to let that one go into it. That's coming straight from tailpipes, so that's not good news for Jones. 17-10. The 12 double D of Darren Dryden. Chris Jones in the 11J, gonna keep his foot buried into it. Halfway flags are in the air now for Corey Turner. Mitch Brown, Darren Dryden, Chris Jones, April Wilson, and Nathan Jackson. Mitch Brown can't find any way around the 17. He's got to catch him first, but not there just yet. Got a little company coming in. As Corey Turner goes through three and four, the white flag is out. One more trip around. It's Turner, Mitch Brown, Darren Dryden, Chris Jones. Nathan Jackson going to look to the inside of April Wilson as they go down the front straightaway. He's going to take Woo! over the fifth spot. Turner, Brown, Dryden, Chris Jones, Nathan Jackson looking to hold on to five, five spot, and April Wilson in the 115 rounding out the field. Nathan Jackson got it. a little bit of air coming around that tire that's kind of moved out onto the track. He hit that. Got a little air, and then it went around three.